Hi, it's Globo Affairs Analyst Michael Boscu in a very bright uh, uh, late April sunshine here in Ottawa. Well, behind me is the very now famous uh, plastic sculpture that apparently was brought in from Nairobi, Kenya uh, by the United Nations uh, Environmental Program. And they are the host of the big um, treaty negotiations behind me on plastics that has been going on for many days here in Ottawa and continues for another two or three days. Thousands of delegates from around the world representing most uh, member states from as big as uh, India, Russia, China to as small as uh, Maldives, um, Papua New Guinea and many island um, nation states. And um, unless you're really into the weeds of plastics pollution, you won't understand much here, but I did attend um, for the better part of two days and I did kind of get uh, kind of uh, the drift that, you know, the big uh, oil producers, for example, uh, Russia, China, uh, India, they will, uh, Saudi Arabia, they'll advocate for more uh, nuanced or measured, measured approaches uh, to control of plastics because after all, plastics are made with a bit of oil, last time I checked. Uh, whereas the smaller nations are saying, hey, look, man, we don't have much money. We have a very poor infrastructure. And by the way, we get a lot of our pollution from the big developed nations. So anyway, um, we don't know where this will all end. And one other thing that was very, very interesting for me as someone who's based in Ukraine is that um, uh, of course, uh, Russia has caused huge damage to Ukraine, and in that is environmental damage, also known as ecocide, toxic pollution, chemical pollution, landmines, that sort of thing. And yet it seemed to me, uh, listening to them yesterday, or even a little bit today, that uh, they are, uh, you know, one of the biggest environmentalists in the room. And um, it's really, really interesting to see how Russia or pariah states come to these venues and present themselves as you know responsible uh, members of the international community and yet outside of these halls they act with abandon they have zero disregard for the international rules-based uh, system it just boggles in the mind it probably shouldn't because i've been with the osc and the un but uh, it is a reminder that um this is the way that the things work here. And then the other kind of subtlety you see to end this off is you see their friends backing them. Uh, for example, Eritrea or others who are buddies. And um, uh, according to my sources, they do a lot of strong arming behind the scenes to support them in these different UN fora. Uh, I will do another video on what's happened to Ottawa, a city I grew up in. It's not. A pretty story but it is host to this big big conference and I've heard other delegates talk about how surprised they are in terms of what they've seen here in the nation's capital but more on that later Michael Basicu reporting to you from Ottawa Canada